Hey guys, it's Turner4590, and in part 5 of Let's Play Mega Man X, we're going to be tackling Launch Octopus. Oh, I cannot wait for this, because I am not very good at this boss, especially since we don't have any sub-tank energy. I'm going to have to get some during the level. But the music, the level design, the mini-boss... It's so freaking cool, this level, but the boss is hard. Oh, that's good. I already got a full health pack to fill up. Listen, listen to the music. <laughs> I'm sorry, I should have stopped letting me listen to the music. Oh, 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 I think I remember what you have to do. I'm pretty sure that Electric Spark works pretty well for this part. Yes, it does. Um, and, uh, also, I'm really sorry if... Oh, crap. <laughs> I'm really sorry that you can probably hear the controller, well, just probably the F, the L button, pretty much, that's pretty much all you'll be able to hear, because I'm bashing. And maybe sometimes the, the, uh, the, uh, analog stick, like right there when I'm trying to get out of the fish, like right here. Oh, crap. Damn, got damage. And, next mini boss. yep. Yeah. Oh, crap, I wasted pretty much all of it. Okay, this part is annoying. Oh, fudge. <laughs> Holy gosh. Holy moly. I'm sorry. That's, that was pretty close. Thank you, God. Oh, wait, wait. Oh. There's nothing. Oh, sweet. How much do we have? Oh, about half. Okay, now, super secret awesome, awesome uh, mini boss right here. This is a more of a bonus, but the mini boss is actually coming up. There's two mini bosses actually. They're both the same thing, but one of them is optional. There we go. Now look, look. Boom! Now we can go down here. Whoa! And in here is a mini boss. This mini boss is guarding a heart tank. And I hate this part. Oh, oh see, look. I got damage. Oh, I'm gonna get damage again. Yep. Thank God! I always hate drifting down because sometimes I land right. Oh, come on! Oh well. But yeah, we got the heart tank. That was pretty easy. The next mini boss is really easy because you're not over a spike pit. We should get up here. Yeah. Actually, we don't need to go up there. And here is the mini boss. So this time it digs into the ground, but it's not that annoying. The volume is, I believe, louder. I can't remember. Uh, pretty sure it's louder. Gosh, the graphics of this game, I never, I'm like, actually paying attention. Like, they're just really good. Like, Capcom really outdid themselves. And uh, Mega Man X2 uses the 32X card or something? I don't know what it's called. It allows for 3D stuff. They use it a couple times in Mega Man X2. And I'm pretty sure they use it in 
I don't know. It's whatever they've used for SNES games to have like 3D parts. Like Chrono Trigger had for like the bike race. Um, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure. I'm not entirely sure. But we're at the boss. But I gotta get stuff into the fish first. Okay. Um, okay. Here we are at the boss. Yeah, we're already past the regular time for levels already. Uh, this is not going to be fun, and I should have switched to its weakness. But I'll shoot the bullet first. This part's so awesome. <laughs> I want you down! Okay, let's just pray that I do good. Oh, I'm not doing good. Oh, God! I did it. Yeah, I did it. Ha ha ha! Yeah, we're at over six minutes, so I'm glad I didn't tackle the boss, because we would have run out of time last time we did armor and armadillo. Okay, biggest threat taken down. I usually die on that boss, but I did it this time. I remember as a kid writing down all the passwords and then getting lost, and I was so devastated when I found out that the final fortress stage, you can't save between levels. I was so devastated, because they give you a password even though it won't save. That was just, that was just a mean move. Uh, now we get to take on Boomer Kawanger. I will see you guys next time.